Welcome to morning prayers at All Saints Lutheran Church. My name is Rick Bradley. My name is Gordon Schonsenbach. We're really glad that you have joined us this morning. O Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory be to the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and to, to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The psalm for today is Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. The praise of God shall ever be on my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the lowly hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt God's name together. I sought the Lord who answered me and delivered me from all my terrors. Look upon the Lord and he is radiant. Let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear the Lord and delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who take refuge in God. Fear the Lord, you saints of the Lord, for those who fear the Lord lack nothing. The lions are in want and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you reverence for the Lord. Who among you takes pleasure in life and desires long life to enjoy prosperity? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and God's ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to erase the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and God hears them and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those whose spirit is crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from every one. And God will keep safe all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. Evil will bring death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. O Lord, you redeem life, the life of your servants, and those who put their trust in you will not be punished. The first lesson this morning is from the Song of Solomon. I belong to my beloved, and his desire is for me. Come, my beloved, let us go to the countryside, let us spend the night in the villages. Let us go early to the vineyards and see the vines have budded. If their blossoms have opened, if the pomegranates are in bloom. There I will give you my love. The mandrakes send out their fragrance, and at our door is every delicacy, both new and old, that I have stored up for you, my beloved. For only you, if only you were to me like a brother who was nursed at his mother's breasts, then if I found you outside, I would kiss you, and no one would despise me. I would lead you and bring you to my mother's house, she who has taught me. I would give you spiced wine to drink and nectar from pomegranates. His left arm is under my head, and his right arm embraces me. Daughters of Jerusalem, I charge you, do not arouse or awaken love until it so desires. The second lesson is from the book of John, the Gospel, sixth chapter. 
So when the Pharisees, when the disciples found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? And Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him, God the Father has placed his seal of approval. And then they asked him, what must we do to do the works God requires? And Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one who sent the one he has sent. And so they asked him, What sign then will you give that we may see it and believe you? What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. And Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And so they said, Sir, always give us this bread. And then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. questions 
Well, I think I, I, when I read these, I always looked at them together to try to see some connection between the reading on a given day. And I looked at this and I said to myself, the Song of Solomon. <laughs> I'll have to be honest, I, I, I know very little about the Song of Solomon, but it's not one that we've studied or I've studied a great deal, except to find out that it's a song of love. And when you read it, you can see the love between us. I, I see, when I saw that, I come back and look, and I see God's love in all of these. I think the connection is love. God has given us a great gift in the Song of Solomon. He's given us the gift of human love. Human people can love each other, can be endeared to one another, and that's a great gift. And the Song of Solomon ties this to me, that even though, and we go to God in trouble, because we know he loves us. And in the last, Jesus talks about, he talks about love. He talks about God's love, really, in the sense that he's saying, I am the son of God, and he's given me for a purpose. Deliverance, salvation. Yeah. And I, I see that as a connection. From there, I, I can, you know, I can talk about any of these verses per se, but I see that in here. Uh, it puts it together for me in, in kind of something to reflect on whenever I look at the whole thing. I don't know if that no, makes sense at all. No, it does. It really makes it makes good sense. Uh, and I, I had not thought of that connection, uh, but it makes it, it, it's a perfect backdrop for what Jesus, his answer to his disciples when they ask him. Uh, uh, so what do we have to do to do the works that God requires? You go back to the psalm, and in verse 14, David says, turn from evil and do good. Yeah. Seek peace yeah. and pursue it. Yeah. And then later, uh, in, I'm sorry, uh, seek peace and pursue it. And then he says, uh, Jesus says, believe in the one who sent me. Believe in God. And why? Because God loves us so much. And no matter where we are in life or what we're experiencing, uh, God still loves us. And I guess the question that I would leave for further reflection during the day might be something like this. If, because the psalm is about finding happiness, and we find happiness in the relationship we have with God, what do we need to do to grow in our relationship with God? And if we think of a few things that I need help with this or I need help with that, then we can, we can say a prayer to God. God, I really need help in this area of my life. I want to grow closer to you. Please send your spirit and help me do that. I think it fits in very well with that is there's one line I, I see in the Song of Solomon when I, this is the lady speaking and thinks she says, come my beloved, let us go to the countryside. Yeah. Uh, how often do we see Jesus going to the countryside? Yeah. How often do we see him in his own life retreating to some place away from things? And I think maybe that's one thing we need to do, whatever the countryside may be, a place where we can find some individual separation from the world 
a closeness to God and not necessarily doing it alone. She's saying, come with me. Right. Let us go to the countryside. We see Jesus talking about, let us go for a walk. Yeah. Okay. And I think that's a common, common glue yeah. that might bring people together. Good point. Something to think about as we go through the day and then and, uh, move on in, this, in the morning prayers. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Loving God, you sent your Holy Spirit to transform our hope, our fear into hope, where our faith is weak. Draw us closer to you and strengthen our faith during this Pentecost season. Make us joyful, willing witnesses to your love for all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Nurturing God, you desire justice for the hungry, the poor, the widows, the orphans, the sick, and those in prison, and the strangers in our midst. Bless advocacy work food pantries, the feeding ministries of Christians everywhere. May we not rest until everyone is cared for and respected. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the nations and their leaders. In you, steadfast love and faithfulness meet. In you, righteousness and peace kiss. May nations in conflict and their leaders Know the peace that is the fruit of justice, and that justice is the only path to peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In every country, mountains are shaking and walls are crumbling. We pray for those making decisions that affect the most vulnerable among us. Grant our leaders wisdom, compassion, and the courage to do what is just, right, and hard rather than what is unjust, convenient, and easy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for a renewed commitment to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with you. Empower us to do the good works you have prepared for us to do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for your help as we work to tear down the walls others build, heal the divisions among us, guard us from ambivalence, and keep us connected to you so that we might be instruments of your peace, your love, and bring hope to those who have lost hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We invite other your petitions at this time. We commend all these people and concerns to you and offer thanksgiving, trusting that what we have left unsaid, your holy wisdom can unearth. In the name of the one who came among us, in the power of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray as Christ taught us. Our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, your, your will be done, on earth, earth as in heaven. Give us today our, our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive we those who sin against us. Save, save us from the time of trial. trial. Deliver us from the evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. Amen.